Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. I'm super excited because today I'm sharing about my new to my Etsy shop product called Oh Snap Dots. They're scented sticky dots. Um, and these are for diamond painting. That's why I have the diamond painting pins. But I promised you guys that I would make an instructional tips and tricks video on using these. Um, so let's get to it. Are you guys ready? Ready, ready. So those of you that will be receiving these, there will be a little instructional paper in there. Um, but, um, you know, it's always good to have a visual, right? So I have two empty pens, one with a with the metal tip, one with a plastic tip, because I know all of us use both. And then I have just a plain copper tip that comes with most of our pins. And then this one is a stainless steel tip. So I wanted to show you how to load all the things. Um, really the only thing that you would need to load them would be a set of tweezers for my own personal preference, because if you have used, um, as a diamond painter, if you have used glue dots in the past, and that's something you like to use, then more than likely you use tweezers to load them into your single placers and multi-placers if you multi-place with glue dots. So, yeah, just grab a pair of your handy dandy tweezers. We all know that you have some many laying around, but let's go ahead and get started. We will first load this one here, um, the plastic four placer and a copper typical stainless or not stainless, but copper tip. Before we do that, let's open our pretty package up. Are you ready? So this was the, the scent that I launched, um, the O snap dots with was unicorn farts. Um, that's one of the favorite scents in my shop. So, but let's go ahead and open this up and get into it. Just pull the little paper out just like so. And then you'll see all those little pink and blue glue dots all over. They're sparkly and they smell good. Mm, they smell so good. So yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, so the first one we're gonna load is this one here. So what I do, and the easiest way for me to do this is to just, because it comes on two pieces. So you have a white backing, which is like release paper. So it's like non-sticky. And then this is the side, the clear film is where your glue dots are, okay? And then what I do is um, use, I like to use my pointy stabby tweezers for this, but we'll first load our single tip. So it should, you shouldn't need more than one to one and a half max to fill your single tip. Um, I don't want to stick my finger in it. doesn't matter. You can, but just use my tweezers to grab glue dot off. I got most of it. There's like a little smidge left there. Okay. See here, it's right there. So I just pull it off and then I roll it between my fingers and then I grab it with my tweezers again and stick it in the hole. Let's see how many comments that says, oh, that's what she said or that's what he said. So I just stuff it in there, okay? Now, sometimes you're gonna have excess, like you can push it in there as much as you can, but see there's a little excess there at the end sticking out, and so what I do is just use my release paper and just kind of mash it and wiggle it around Till you get till it like kind of like chops the excess off roll it around with my finger and stick the rest of it on another glue dot 
and there you go. Nice and tidy. I just kind of push it in there again with my tweezers just to make sure and use my thumb to like hold it so it don't, you know, come back out on my tweezers. And then kind of pat on it a little bit to get, you know, dirty it up a little bit. Because if you've used glue dots in the past, you'll know that um, sometimes you got to dirty them up. Okay, now to feel, to fill your, um, let's go ahead and fill, hold on, while I'm at it, my pen keeps wanting to roll off. Let me go ahead and fill the stainless steel tip while I'm at it. So these usually take a lot less than the copper ones that you get in your kits. Um, and while I'm thinking about it, when we use, like most of us use like the micro teensy tiny ones, um, glue dots and we'll have to take for to fill up a cotton cotton copper tip we need usually about two to three um, glue dots and so the way that I've sized mine there you really only need one sometimes one is too much sometimes you only need like one and a one and a part of another one you know um, with the stainless steel tips they're not as deep as the copper ones are so you'll need less for this one. So what I usually do is look for the smallest ones on the film because honestly, they're not all identical, the identical same size. Like you're gonna have some bigger ones and some littler ones. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you look like, uh, let me see if I can find a teeny one. Okay, so like this one, is smaller than this one. You see what I'm saying? This one's a little bit bigger than this one. So I'd probably use this one for my steel tip. And I didn't on purpose make some bigger and some smaller. It's just, you know, they're homemade. So they're gonna be a little bit different. But anyway, let's go ahead and peel this, um, this little one here off and more than likely I won't be able to use all of it. So I'm just roll it around. Betwixt my fingers. Yeah, I can tell I'm not going to need all of it. And stuff it in the hole. I always use my thumb to like cover when I pull so that I don't, so that it doesn't like pull out. Okay. And then we're gonna just roll it around to get the extra off. And you can see it kind of like chopped it around the edge there. Voila. And then I don't waste it. I mean, I'm weird like that. So I'll just plop it on another glue dot for use later on. Okay, and you can see there that it is loaded, okay? You can shove it in there a little bit more with your tweezers if you want to. While I'm thinking about it, one tip that you'll want to remember is sometimes whenever we um, load a new type of wax or putty or glue dot, or whatever into our pen. If our pen, if the tip has been, had something else in it prior, like a different kind of wax, um, and then you go to use something new, and then when you start diamond painting, the, the wax or the putty or the glue dot just kind of sticks, it just falls out or it sticks to the drills. Um, and the reason is because there's some sort of leftover oily residue inside the tip from whatever you used prior. So if that happens with these, make sure to just grab a new tip. If you don't have a new tip, you can always just, you know, rinse it around in some soapy water, rinse it out really good, and then let it dry really well. Um, and that should help. So I just, I always have extra tips everywhere, but I do always recommend starting with a new one. Um, if you don't have a new one, then just clean them out if you have problems with them, you know, plopping out of there on you. So, all right, so this one's filled. 
Um, now we're going to move on over to our multiplacers. And this particular multiplacer has like a piece of plastic stuck right there on the edge that's not supposed to be there. Okay. All right. So now when we go to fill our multiplacers, whenever I use multi, okay, I know a lot of people don't like glue dots in their multiplacers and I was the same way for a long time until Randy from You Can Call Me Butter just like kept talking me into it, kept talking me into it. And finally, I just like kept doing it and then now that's all I use for the most part unless I'm working with like ABs or crystals or something. So, yeah, okay. So if you do use um, glue dots in your multiplacer, I'll show you how to load them in here. I'll show you how to load mine in here. And then if you've never used glue dots in your multiplacer or you've tried it and didn't like it, I do recommend trying mine in your multiplacer. Um, and the reason for that is because when we've used glue dots, when we first start using glue dots as a diamond painter, we are like, oh my goodness, it's so stinking sticky. Like, it won't let loose of anything. Like, it completely, like, grabs hold and doesn't let go, right? But these, while they are very, 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 very sticky and last for a long time, they're way more forgiving, I feel like, in multiplacers than the original glue dots are that we've used forever and ever. So, just give them a try, see what you think. You may, you might still not like it, and that's, that's fine, but I wanted to give you the option. So, anyway, we're going to load this. This is a four-placer, a plastic four-placer. This is one that most people are familiar with and comfortable with using, but what I do is grab a glue dot off the plastic, roll it between my fingers, but make sure to roll it in more of a skinny line like see how it's more like long um I'm trying to do this so i can and see at the same time and then you just shove it in there to one side i start at the left make sure it's like in there good you know like so that it's kind of like level with the end of the multiplacer and you'll lose, use a lot less of these than you will the original glue dots too. And you can use both colors. They're the same, it doesn't matter. Like you don't have to use blue with blue or pink with pink. You can use blue and pink. Mix it up a little bit, make it fun. Okay, roll another one up between my fingers. Stick that one in beside of the second one or the first one. Just mash it in there. Mashy, mashy, mashy. I do like to use my thumb just to keep it, like, from coming out on me. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay. One more should be the trick. I grab a smaller-ish one. But usually when I use glue dots, the micro ones... Um, to fill a four placer, it takes several, and this is going to take three. So, oh, there you'll go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and it's pretty too. Look, you got blue, pink, and blue. See how pretty? <laughs> and it smells yummy too. I'm trying to use this purple as a background so you can see it easier. All right, so we got it filled. Now you can see there's a little bit of excess here sticking out the top, not much, because I was, you know, careful when I loaded it. Um, and as far as like pushing it down on release paper to get the excess out like you would with your single tip, it doesn't work quite as well. Um, but what I will say is when you're diamond painting, um, I mean, you can like use tweezers if you have way too much to kind of peel some off the top so it's more level, you know, and not so much excess coming out. Um, 
but I'm just cautious when I load it that I'm not putting way too much in to begin with. Um, and so as I'm diamond painting, the more and more I use the multi-placer, it starts kind of like eventually working its way out so that the excess is like, just kind of like the same way with regular glue dots. When we use regular glue dots, when we fill it for the first time and we're using it in our multi-placers, you'll start getting to where, you know, every once in a while you'll like want to like wipe the sides of your pen because you'll have a little excess glue, you know, off the side. Um, but that it's kind of the same thing. That's all I do with it. So, all right, we are fully loaded. This one's loaded and ready to go. So let's set that one to the side and then we're going to fill. This is a metal five placer. So, same thing as before. These metal ones are usually deeper than the plastic ones are. And so you might have to put like a couple layers in. But what I do is I push that first one in and then scooch it over so that it's, you know, filled up over here on this corner. Um, one thing you don't want to do is like put one in and then stretch it all the way across and push it in because what's going to happen is it like shrinks back to its normal size and then you'll wind up with all of your glue dot in the middle and none on the ends and that's no bueno so okay grab another one stick her in there This, since this is a five placer and it's a deeper one, it'll take a little bit more. I would say maybe, uh, this is my third one. One more should do it. Okay, one more. Easy peasy. And then once I'm done loading this, I'm going to diamond paint with it so you guys can see how beautiful it works. Okay. Now, it's all loaded up. And you can see, again, there is a little bit of excess. If I put it level here, you can see there's some excess. Again, you can try to squish it but nothing's really going to happen. Like it's still, I mean, it flattened it in there some, but it still just kind of like grows back, you know, to where it was normally at to begin with. So we'll go ahead and lay this back down and we will put this back in here. And you guys, if you have trouble with these zippers, like if they're way too strong for you, when you put this back in there, you don't have to zip it all the way because it's covered in there. These are not gonna like dry out on you that fast. You know what I'm saying? So instead of like zipping it all the way across, I just kind of like push, push, push so that it's a lot easier to open whenever, instead of like zipping it all the way across. I just go ba dum bump, ba dum bump. <laughs> okay. So let's put our cap on our tweezers and I am going to move my pen. I'm gonna get a drink of my coffee. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. All right, now I hope you guys don't mind because I'm gonna have to turn my light pad on. So let me roll my canvas back out. Whee, look what I'm working on. I'm still working on my Spangler. Sunday Delight. Ooh, sorry. I know that light pad is like bright and obnoxious. It might help if I turn this other light on too. Hold on. I hope that's not too bright. Okay. Alrighty, now. Got my glue dots, and I'm gonna get my tray, and I peeled that plastic off, but I'm gonna lay the plastic here just because I need something to put my tray on. 
All right, so we will start with um, we'll single place and multi place with both pins so you can see how they work. We'll start with this green P symbol. This one right here. Okay. As far as lasting you, how long these will last you, um, that really depends on you, how much you diamond paint. Um, mine last, mine tend to last me a really long time. Um, the humidity is different for some people, depending on where in the country you're at. Um, and you, you know, depending on I don't know, just environmental things, you know? So, I'm trying to think. What else? I don't know. I mean, some people just go through them quicker than other people, maybe. I was able to work my way through um, a 50... 50 I think with one load in my pen um, and then um, I changed out and um, went like over eight hours on my my um, stopwatch because um, I kept starting and stopping it every time I would start and stop diamond painting with the next load and it was like well over eight hours um so yeah i think it just depends on the person and um how often you diamond paint uh, that kind of thing so um let me see what else what else oh as far as a b's go working with a b's um I would say that, like, I've tried fresh O-snap dots on ABs, and it was not, um, I mean, yeah, it worked, but the same with regular glue dots. They got not sticky very quickly with the ABs, um, because what happens is that the coating comes off onto the glue dots, and then it makes like a film over your glue dot and it won't pick up. So, um, that's a problem. Um, but what I've do, what I've done is like taken like my old, older glue dots, like from my first round, um, and then, um, instead of, like, taking it out of my pen when I went to reload, um, what I did was just, let's go ahead and try this one. I haven't used this one yet. Yeah, that one's got some in it. Thicky, thicky. Um, what was I going to say? I got distracted. There was just a dog running up down the road just right in the middle of the road. And it looked like a German Shepherd. Um, oh, yeah, instead of reloading, um, I just set that pin aside and wanted to reserve it just for AB use. And so that's what I did. And it worked, it, you know, it works well for ABs if you use like a um, older blue dot if that makes any sense at all um now again even with an older glue dot it will um get not sticky really quick but i found a trick to that you guys i haven't tried it with anything else um but i will tell you what that trick is here in just a second um, 
But do you hear that pop? That nice, oops, that one's got plastic on it. Do you hear that pop pop? Um, after you've used it for a little bit, that pop gets a little bit louder and nicer. And um, I like it a lot. I like the pop sound. And I'm placing quietly right now. I mean, if I'm really in the zone and I'm hard pressing, yeah. Um, I find that it makes a really nice pop sound. So I think I'm done with that symbol because I'm only working on like this side over. Okay. Um, let's pick uh, we'll do this blue um, oh the trick for ABs what I was going to say is, um, oh, let me find one. Is it this one? I think it may have been this one that I had loaded. Let me see. See, this is what I've been using off and on, and it's still nice and sticky. Um, okay, so say you're placing ABs, okay, and it gets to where it won't pick up again. So what I do, and this is so gross, it's not gross, but kind of gross. You just want to make sure you have clean hands. Is I lick my thumb. Like, uh, you know, lick my thumb. And then wipe the end of it. And then it makes it sticky again. Now you have to do that every so often. You know. But, um, it works. It really, really works. So, um, there's that little nugget. Okay. So, Let's lay some more of these. I really just wanted to be able to let you guys see the um, how I load my pins and you guys to be able to see it in use. I'm super excited to be able to share this video. And I have so many fun plans coming up soon with different scents and colors and themes and all the things. So, when you start hearing it like su super suctiony, like you can feel it almost not wanting to give, kind of the same thing with normal glue dots. When it gets like that, I just pat it with my finger um, to, because it, you know, with regular glue dots, you want to dirty them up a little bit when you first start using them. Um, kind of the same thing. So, you know, if you're a glue dots user, then treat them the same way you would glue dots. And if you're not a glue dots user and you're going to be an O snap dots user, then I hope that this video helps. Okay, so that color is done. All right. Now we will multi-place a little bit with this pen and see it's got, like I said, there's some excess coming out of the top. That's okay. If you can't stand it, just take tweezers or scissors and lop that off. Um, I do find if I use tweezers to pull it off, sometimes it wants to pull all of it out. 
And so, you know, I always have scissors handy. These are my big giant ones. But what I do is just like this, just right at that edge, just pull that off. You got a little bit there on the thumb, you know, put it on your, uh, here for now. <laughs> and then there you go. It's pretty level in there now. So you can do that. It doesn't bother me if it's a little bit pooching out of the top because eventually it works its self out anyway. So let's multiplace some um, of this dark. No, that's boring. Let's do this green L. I think that's a dark green too, though. It is. That's okay, though. We'll just do it for a little bit. And then I'll go over to my other multi-placer. Um, that was symbol L. Okay. So, again, with glue dots, or with my O-snap dots, you'll hear it pop. I really, really enjoy multi-placing with my glue dots, or my O-snap dots. Um, it's just easy and I like it a lot. So, um, 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 let me just place a couple more spots and then I'll move on over to the stainless steel one. Well, my multiplacer on the other one I don't think is stainless steel. It's just a cheaper, like, metal one. So. Okay. So we'll go ahead and move it on over to this one. And... Hold on just a minute. I got some hair on it. I don't know where that came from. I had a piece of, look like a poppy hair. Okay. So, again, the same with this one. If there's some pooched out of the top, I'll use it like that. Doesn't bother me in the least. Um, but if it bothers you, just use it, scissors to me would be easier. Um, I did that with glue dots too because trying to yank um, the glue dots with like excess glue dots out of a multi-placer with tweezers, nine times out of ten I ended up just yanking the whole thing out and that's not fun. So, you know, no fun at all. At all. So... Um, I'm supposed to be using my multi-placer, huh? Sorry. I forget. Um, but that's really it, guys. That's it. Easy peasy. Um, really, I see I keep wanting to use my single placer. I'm supposed to be multi uh, But yeah, that's it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I do plan on making a Q&A video um, really, really soon, depending on um, how many questions you guys have. So if you have any questions at all whatsoever um, about my O-Snap Dots, um, please leave your question in the comment section below and I will, um, go through and answer them in a, another video and then I'll link, you know, the videos together, um, so that they're easy to be found, but anyway that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed it please hit the thumbs up button before you skedaddle out the door if you're new here i would love to have you subscribe and hit the notification bell 
ding, 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 to get notified the next time I upload another video or go live. I go live every Thursday night and um, chit chat, have fun, and drop new products in from the shop, um, all that kind of stuff. So 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday nights. Um, but yeah, oh snap, dots, scented sticky dots. That's what I call them. Unicorn farts. I have a new scent coming very soon. Keep your eyes out and your ears open. And um, again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you do have a question, and, or well, if you ask a question, like I said, I will answer it in um, a Q&A video concerning the, the um, oh snap dots and then um, I'll pick a winner. I'll um, do like a random comment picker um, from all of the comment, all of the questions. So, um, and then announce a winner in the Q&A. Does that sound fun? All right, you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Make sure to leave your questions down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.